Welcome to Pure Aqua Inc. In this video, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of replacing membranes in a multiple membrane RO system. To make it easy to follow, we've divided the video into four key sections. Safety and preparation, covering the essential safety measures and tools you'll need before starting. Membranes troubleshooting, explaining how to diagnose performance issues and identify faulty membranes. Old membranes removal, detailing the step-by-step -step process to safely remove existing membranes. New membranes installation, walking through the proper method to install new membranes correctly. Let's begin with section one, safety and preparation. We recommend using the following personal protective equipment, safety glasses, steel-toed boots, and water-resistant gloves when handling RO membranes. If you're sensitive to fiberglass, wear long sleeves or proper protective clothing to prevent irritation. Take a moment to conduct a safe performance self-assessment. Ask yourself, what are the risks of performing this task and how can I minimize them? Identifying these risks helps you work safely and efficiently. When removing or installing membranes, always have at least two people, one on each side of the pressure vessel. Communicate clearly and effectively to avoid personal injury. Use scaffolding for stable and safe footing. Do not use ladders under any circumstances, as they are unstable and increase the risk of accidents during this process. Finally, gather the necessary tools and materials. End cap removal tool, PVC pipe or wooden dowel as an alternative to a membrane removal tool, cushions for the pipe or dowel ends to avoid scratching the vessel, wrenches if needed, safety gloves, inner connectors, and end adapters. DuPont 111 lubricant, or an equivalent silicone-based lubricant. Clean rag to wipe down components and clean connections. Hose and water to flush out the vessel after removing old membranes. Sponge or swab with a long stick and rope to thoroughly clean the inside of the vessel. Membranes troubleshooting. How do you know if your RO system is operating effectively? Start by collecting and analyzing performance data. Check feed water, product water, and reject water pressures, as well as feed water conductivity, temperature, and product water conductivity. An increase in feed water pressure usually points to membrane fouling. Lower feed water pressure combined with higher product conductivity suggests membrane damage. Stable feed water pressure but increased product conductivity indicates a damaged internal O-ring. To identify a faulty membrane, test the water from the sample valve of each pressure vessel to identify which vessel contains the faulty membrane. To perform membranes probing and pinpoint the faulty membrane in the identified vessel, prepare the tubing. Use a tubing long enough to reach the entire length of the pressure vessel. Ensure the tubing is clean and free of any contaminants. 2. Insert the tubing. Carefully insert the tubing all the way inside the pressure vessel through the permeate port. 3. Testing the last membrane. Pull the tubing back approximately 40 inches to reach the last membrane in the pressure vessel. Use a handheld TDS meter to test the water quality at this point. 4. Testing the other membranes. After testing the last membrane, pull the tubing back another 40 inches to test the second to last membrane. Repeat this process, pulling the tubing back in 40 inch increments until you've tested all membranes in the vessel. Compare water quality. Compare the TDS readings of the water samples from each membrane. The membrane with significantly higher TDS or different water quality is likely the faulty one. By systematically testing each membrane, you can identify the specific one that needs replacement. Old membranes removal. Once you've identified the faulty membranes, proceed with their removal carefully and methodically. System shutdown. Shut down the system and allow it to depressurize completely. Verify that all feed and concentrate lines are disconnected to avoid pressure buildup. Safety measures. Ensure all safety equipment is in place, including scaffolding for stable footing. Have at least two people on site, one on each side of the vessel, to handle the membranes carefully. Avoid using ladders during this process to prevent accidents and maintain proper balance. Removing end caps. Use an end cap pulling tool if needed to safely remove the end caps from the pressure vessel. Position the tool securely on the end cap, then pull evenly to avoid damaging the cap or the vessel. 
Be cautious of any residual water that may spill during this step. Removing membranes with PVC pipe or wooden dowel. Remove the retaining rings and support rings, if your vessel model includes them, from both ends of the vessel. Prepare a PVC pipe or wooden dowel that is long enough to push the membrane through the vessel. Attach cushions or padding to the ends of the pipe or dowel to prevent scratching or damaging the inner walls of the pressure vessel. Insert the pipe or dowel into the vessel from one side. Start pushing out one membrane at a time, ensuring that the other person is ready to pull it out from the opposite side. Always push in the same direction as the membrane flow indicated on the membrane for safe and efficient removal. After all membranes are removed, use a hose to flush the inside of the vessel with water, sending the cleaning water to the drain. This helps remove any residual debris or fouling. Use a clean rag to wipe out any remaining dirt inside the vessel. Apply DuPont 111 lubricant onto the inner walls of the pressure vessel concentrate side and the cleaned head seal to prepare for the installation of new membranes. 4. New Membranes Installation now that the pressure vessels are clean and inspected, proceed with installing the new membranes. Inspect O-rings and connectors. Check the O-rings, inner connectors, and end adapters for any signs of wear or damage. Replace any faulty components. Apply DuPont 111 lubricant or an equivalent silicone-based lubricant to the O-rings and inner connectors to ensure a proper seal. Installing new membranes. Ensure the feed end of the membrane is aligned correctly with the flow direction, as marked on both the membrane and the vessel. Use inner connectors to join multiple membranes, ensuring a snug fit. Have one person guide the membrane into the pressure vessel while the other supports it from the opposite end. If you are using DuPont interlock membranes, ensure the interlock mechanism is properly engaged to achieve a tight seal and proper alignment. Reinstall end caps. For each pressure vessel, install the end cap with the thrust cone first. For the other end, apply a shim if necessary to ensure proper alignment and sealing. Start up and flushing, repressurize the system and check for leaks. Send the initial batch of permeate water to the drain to flush out preservatives. Monitor the TDS level, and when it returns to the original low level, the water is safe for use. Thank you for watching this guide on replacing membranes in an RO system. For more information or consultation, please visit our website at pureaqua.com.